Well, to support everyone, the Perth Wildcats Championship hopes have hit an early hurdle with Greg Hire suffering a long-term calf injury. The man regarded as the club's heart and soul is set to miss at least six weeks. Lockie Reid was there when he received the news today. The higher hustle will be missed and opposition teams know it's a simple training injury putting his season on hold and piling on early pressure on the Wildcats. Yeah, obviously uh, extremely disappointed, but trying to stay as positive, positive as I can. I just felt like someone had yeah, kicked me or thrown a basketball back and just sort of looked back and there was no one there, so I knew something wasn't right. Hire doesn't start games, but when he does rise from the bench and enter the action, his energy and tenacity is infectious. His importance to the team cannot be underestimated. This workhorse to miss his first game since becoming a Wildcat in 2010, sitting on the sidelines, something that may take a little while to get used to. I've already done a little bit of a workout this morning because I just couldn't yeah, bear just to be sitting there. So I did a bit of a circuit back at home. I'm surprised I've never had an injury before. So mentally it will be difficult um, knowing it's a muscle injury and, and something that never really happened before. But uh, I'll do everything possible in making sure that my body is right and coming back. He's set back a bonus for Matty young Muo, who was dumped from the roster in the pre-season to make way for Ernest Ross. A perfect guy has faced adversity for the last 16 months and he can slide into my position. The start to the Cats back-to-back -back title defence continues to throw the team challenges. Elbow surgery interrupted import DeAndre Daniels' pre-season, but he showed signs of being a dominant force last Friday night. Lockie Reed, 10 Eyewitness News. NBL legend Daryl McDonald wants to be more than the interim coach at the struggling Melbourne United. DMAC wants to be the permanent replacement for Chris Anstey, who paid an emotional visit to the players this morning after leaving the job after just one game. Michelle Trawartha reports. It was back to business as Melbourne United attempt to comprehend how their senior coach lasted just one game. And when your leader comes to you and genuinely says that this is in the best interest and, and he genuinely feels this is the way to go and he wants to step down, you must respect that person. The former coach met with the team for the final time this morning. We had him come down and talk to the guys and... And he was like, he was real emotional and it was like, seriously, I, I was almost in tears myself. He always puts the team first. He always thinks of everyone else, but probably himself. And, uh, you know, he's a fantastic man. And, you know, we were really grateful to have him as a coach. Thrashed in their opening round of the NBL season, it's been a rocky start for the NBL's newest franchise. Yes, it's not ideal that we've, that, you know, that Chris has parted um, ways with us, um, but it doesn't stop the actual vision of the organisation and we move forward. Assistant Daryl McDonald will take the reins. If he performs, the job will be his. It's DMAC's job to, you know, to lose. Um, it's the best interview anybody could have. He's in the role um, and we'll see how he goes. Uh, looking forward to it, actually. Opportunity. You know, it's an opportunity for me to, to, to show what I can do. United have a shot at redemption against Cairns when they square off on Friday night. Michelle Trawartha, 10 Eyewitness News.